Well, guys, we just bought another collection. Stay tuned to see what's inside. I'm going to have to sort some of this stuff out. All right, here's the first bag. It's in some kind of like little gift bag. And let me get it all pulled out. And all right, here's what's in the first bag. Bunch of proof sets. We got some purple green and then some modern ones with the state quarters. And then the one where they did the presidential dollars. Because they did like a separate separate insert for presidential dollars. And it looks like we got a bunch of mint sets. This feels this feels empty. Oh, that's not mint sets. It's some paper. Paper currency. Alright, it looks like someone punched a hole in this one. Yeah, someone ate a piece of that one. Japanese government. So, obviously, it was probably like her husband's or something. This, I don't know if it, this is like one piece or it's like ripped in half. No, I think it's one whole piece that's been ripped in half. But a lot of people, you see a lot of this stuff in people's uh, collections because like the husbands or whatever was in the military and so they went over they went overseas got some Canada yep they went overseas and did their stuff right. it looks like we got a couple different there's a 64 so we got like two two up mint sets with some silver in it the rest is just regular mint sets and this is really common when you buy a collection People got the proof sets and mint sets from the U.S. Mint. But this, this is probably something they bought through like a magazine or something. Because this is not U.S. Mint. Yeah, see, Coins of America. So, they bought these through some mail order. Odds are it's mail order because a lot of like the older people didn't do like the internet and stuff so just regular run of the bill this one got super milky what year is that is that 2000 2009 so yeah and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull these out because like this one's this one's icky this one will go like in our um our bin of like circulated circulated uh monetary we have like a little bin when it has like stuff like that where it's not really premium anymore because of the milkiness. And then I'll save these little boxes because a lot of times people will give away Silver Eagles for like graduation gifts or something. And they always ask if we have a box. So I'm going to save these boxes for someone that wants a Silver Eagle gift. And then this one looks up to par so this will go in our box for people looking for specific dates all right so i'm going to pop this out save the capsule put the capsule in the box put this in our bowl and then i'm gonna put these where they belong and then we'll be back with the next all right we're here to the next bag and it looks like some more proof sets proof set proof set this one feels a little light Nope, it's not light. Maybe, or maybe it is. Let's see, we got quarters. Presidential. Yeah, it is light. It's missing uh, some cents. It's missing the cents. Yes, yeah, it's, it's missing the... Um, that That's the, like, formative years and stuff like that. So, the cents are actually worth more than the whole set. All right, we got some eagles. 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 Alright, there's other stuff. Alright, let's just dump it out. So, I think all these are like proof eagles. Let's move all this stuff over. Yeah, these all seem to be like proof eagles. They used to like color code the eagles, so this purple one is going to be a earlier year. Yep, it's a proof. 1988. So we got nine proof eagles. <laughs> T 
two proof sets. One's missing the one's missing the scents. And then it looks like we got a couple rolls of scents. Is it like 70 72D? Let's just like take a little glance in here and see if they're all probably the same, yeah. Or is that an S? Is that a D or an S? I don't know. Actually, it looks like an S. Yep, 72 S. So we got a roll of 72 S's. And 73 S's. So 72 and 73 S's. And then it looks like there's some silver eagles. Which these cases with the cardboard, the eagle like kind of sucks up the cardboard and makes that beautiful that beautiful orangey golden tone so hey if you like tones get some of these uh containers with the little cardboards and over time you could have a beautiful orangey tone rim yep see look this one isn't quite as quite as orangey but like all right 93 87 yeah see so this one's been sitting there longer so the longer it sits the more colorful it gets and they probably popped this one out isn't that oh yeah that's like the first year the first year of the eagles these are just the regular eagles there's no like w mint mark so they're not burnished here's another eagle 2015 Fly like an eagle to the sea. So these eagles will get processed and put in their proper spaces. And these ones will get marked with like the year so we know what year they are and put those will be put in their proper places. I'm trying to see if there's any more eagles so I can kind of have it sorted out. Ooh. I like it. I like it. So obviously this person did some mail order because here's some like little tin, little tin dollars. All right, a couple more eagles. Eagle, eagle. Yeah, this is probably, uh, yeah, let's see, look, little tin. A lot of the older folks would buy their stuff through little tin. Well, this was a uh, Lincoln Kennedy scent, but it, it came off, so it's not there. Looks like... Just a just a generic ounce. Huh. It almost looked like there was a hole in there. Just some random. <laughs> a lot of people will probably thought, wow, I got a gold dollar. But now it's just a golden color. And this came from like a uh, mint set or some kind of special set. A couple of little tin items. What's this? American Spirit Collection. So here's the first state quarters. And then what are these? These are probably just like a copper, one ounce copper round or something. Yep, one ounce copper. All right, let me get this stuff sorted and put where it needs to go. And I'll be back again with another bag or tray. I found a silver quarter in there. Silver quarter and... Uh, what's that? Look, and we got like a, a little petrified bug. <laughs> All right, here's the next section or next tray or whatever. All right, what's this? Presidential dollar collection. All right, that's kind of cool. It's got all the dollars. And then it has this collecting kit so it's got like this book this book says did you know did you know this so it has like a little book with some information about the presidents so that's kind of cool like if you're into like knowing presidents and this is magnetic Whoop. so yeah we'll probably put this out in our shop because it's kind of too much to ship Man, this is heavy. 
Presidential Dollar Commemorative Deluxe Edition. Complete Philadelphia and Denver Mint Collection. So, it's probably all just like presidential dollars. Yep. It's all the P&Ds of the presidential dollars going up to 2016. Or wait, this is weird. Oh, because they got it separated. They got Philadelphia. So all the Philadelphias are on these two pages. Goes to 2016. And then all the Denvers are on these two pages, which goes to 2016. That's a little hefty little book. So what is it? Four... One, two, three, four, five. So like twenty bucks, twenty bucks a page. So that's like twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. Eighty dollars worth of dollars. Presidential dollars. Next we have the two thousand ten through twenty one on the national park quarters. These are kind of cool books. Where they come from? Whitman. Whitman books. Okay. Pretty cool. And then this is just 2010 through 2018. So they didn't get the 18s in there yet. Pretty nifty. Whoop. What is next? This looks like a bunch of bicentennial, bicentennial half dollars. Yeah, so this is probably just base value, and a lot of times when we buy people's collection, we'll just cash in, cash in the money for them, so they don't have to have the trouble of going to the bank. So here's just base value. All right, let's see what's next. All right, here's the next pile, and I think we have two more piles left after this. U.S. Midway Metal. Kind of nifty. We have a nickel book. Which it looks like it's all, like, newer nickels. Because it doesn't say, like, what year's on here, so it's all, like, modern which that stuff, this stuff is usually like just face value. And then we have this Lincoln Penny set, American Coin Treasure. So yeah, they probably got a lot of this stuff from like mail order. Last 25 years. <laughs> Another Jefferson book. Which is modern, but this ain't, this isn't modern. Ah, what's this? Coin Roundup. So maybe this is what, like, got them interested in coins, is, is reading this, like, article. Just trying to see if it had a... Small date at top, large date at bottom, notice alignment of the seven. One looks fatter to me. I was trying to see... If it has like a year on here. Nope, no year. Got a bunch of modern. I was scared because at first I thought it was like that was like an obituary. I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't show that. And what's this? Congratulations. Here is your prize. A complete solid bronze collector set of the Franklin Mint Presidential Coins. Oh, yeah, and they used to do these, like, you'd go to the Shell station, and you could get, like, a, one of these. Ah, I don't want them to all fall out. But pretty cool. I think the other ones are in there. We're just, like, different presidential. Hall of Fame. Yeah, I, I felt some in there, so I'm just going to put that back. Yep, there's some in there. I feel it. So it's probably complete... What is this? It says United States of Los Coyotes. So yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. That's kind of cool. One dollar. It doesn't really say where it, where it's from. 
Unless this is some kind of like... Alright, so... So they made these for the... Lost Coyotes Indians. So, it's a cool little set that they made for like one of the tribes. Bahama coins. So, here's some Bahama. Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama. Looks like from 2005. Some more presidential dollars. Yep, another presidential dollar book. Let's see, got some kind of information. Okay, yeah. It just says, like, the years they were in term and a little bit of presidential facts. You figure I would figure out how to put the books together by now. Some nickels. Yeah, it doesn't look like any wartime nickels. Kennedy's. What's this? 64 to 85. Kennedy's. Oh, there's a there's a Franklin. And this one, <laughs> they put a Benji in as the Kennedy reverse also. That one looks like a proof. Yep, it's a 70S. So they put it. 70s in there instead of a 70d Some more half a dollars this average circ half dollars no silver then we have the eisenhower susan b dollars because the susan b is a pretty short set so they have all the Susan B's except for the 99D. And then they're missing a couple of the Eisenhowers. Another another one of those president ones that has like the the magnet. So we already seen that. And then there's this giant, <laughs> this giant presidential dollar. Yeah, hopefully somebody would want this. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Yeah, because there's no way I'd be shipping that. That thing is too big. But something cool that you could, like, put up on your wall. Yeah, that thing is... Whoop! It's big. Alright, next! Next tray! Man, I'm gonna get, like, buns of steel picking up all this stuff off the ground. Whitman! So this is the old Whitman! And I can smell the oldness. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, we got some Denver Mint State Quarters. Yeah, a lot of this is like mail order. Well, that's kind of cool. Civil War stamps. Pretty cool. Got some more stamps here. And then here's the quarters. I know, like, this is the front, but most people will put the rear up so you can, like, see that it is what it is. And now you gotta, like, turn to the back to make sure it's in the right spot. And they're upside down. Upside down. This is the old H.E. Harris book. Half Dollars Miscellaneous. Alright, see if you guys can guess. Do you think it's just going to be clad stuff, or do you think there'll be silver in there? One, two, three, guess! Let's see. I mean, it has some 40%. And then that one looks like a... Maybe the person, like, roll hunted and just... Man, this book... It's so old, the... Uh, the glue came off. I'm thinking maybe this dude, like, just searched rolls. Because there's, like, a couple, like, circulated proofs. So I think the good dude just, like, searched rolls and pulled out ones that he liked the way he lo they looked. And then a gold-plated one. 
that's what my guess would be. All right, here's a paper bag full of more. I feel like oh, I was like I felt like there was something in there. What's this? All right, we got some silver proof quarters. <laughs> some Santa Claus bills from 2006. So Santa Claus money. More presidential dollars. Yeah, some of these, if they're if they're like circulated, I think I'll just pop them out and roll them up and take them to the bank. President president the districts yeah they only did the districts for one year like 2009 they're like districts and then 2010 they're like all right we're there's not enough districts so we'll just go to i think this dude like presidential dollars so we got some mint sets I guess this mint set was supposed to be for Susie. Yeah, here's just some mint sets. Quarters. All right. Do you guys think these are going to be clad or you think they're going to be silver? I'm thinking probably clad because I haven't really seen much silver in this collection besides like the Eagles. Yep, looks like clad to me. So these ones will probably be popped out and rolled up and taken to the bank. This one feels like there's probably only like one or two, if any. Nope, there's three. Oh, there's more. All right, it's full. It's just not very many. The new dollar. <laughs> so they probably like read an article like here's a new dollar so they decided to go on or get their mail ad yeah see so this dude like seen stuff oh that's kind of cool it's like a dollar back and a quarter front from rags to riches so I think the dude probably like did a lot of searching So, like, I guess he, some kind of thing they did with Walmart. Walmart gave them out when they first came out. Clad or silver? One, two, three. I'm thinking clad. Yep, clad. Yeah, a lot of this stuff's probably going to just be popped out and taken to the bank. Oh, here's something cool. I know it's clad, but it's like the 50th anniversary set. On the Kennedy! Man, my back's starting to hurt now. Districts. Districts. They don't feel like they have anything in them, but they do. Well, that, I mean, <laughs> here's the district book because that's all they made. They feel like they're empty. The 2009 U.S. Territory Quarter Dollars Limited Edition Proofs. Well, these don't look like proofs. These are P's and D's. But that's probably something that got the dude going. Yeah, they're like, limited edition proofs, but we're not going to send you the proofs. We're just going to send you the circulator ones. Wow, oh, this is kind of cool. It's got some silver shots, a peace dollar, a Morgan dollar, and a silver certificate. With some information. I think it must have got stored somewhere moist because the, the writing's kind of smeared. So this is the, the coolest thing I've seen so far, or the, the thing that I like the best so far. 
All right, so this was sold at Disneyland, so it's just like different, different coins. The Epcot International coins. And there's the U.S. coin. Jamestown, Virginia. Collectible coin. Produced for Jamestown Settlement by Charles, whatever. But, yeah, I don't think this coin is made of... Yeah, odds are it probably isn't made out of anything precious. Oh, we got another eagle, so that goes with the eagle stuff. A half a mint set. Because it's only the Denver. And then it looks like another Eisenhower... Another Eisenhower. And this one's full. Oh, there's a pleasant surprise. Got a couple Morgans and a Peace Dollar in with those Eisenhowers. And then they kind of just put some Susan B's along with some of the Native Americans. So that was a pleasant surprise on that one. And it looks like, is it a silver dime? Yes. Oh, silver dime! So I had a random silver dime and a random silver quarter so far. And we only have one more box. And this might be a two-part thing because it seems like I've been doing this forever. Forever! All right. Last box. Woohoo! My back is killing me. So 50 state quarters. Ooh, it looks like this one was like, hopefully they're not all like glued in, but if they are, we'll just take them to the bank. We got one silver proof set. The rest look like clad. Got a proof and uncirculated eagle. Some more presidential dollars and, or no, these are... Um, the Native American dollars, mint sets, some of the quarters that probably fell out of the books, some steel cents, rusty old steel cents, oh, what's this? Nestle. The Nestle Company is proud to thank you for your help in the effort to restore the Statue of Liberty. Liberty Medallion is a token of your appreciation. Alright. So it's just like a... Just like a little off-the-wall commemorative. I think the, uh, the packaging is the coolest thing about that. Looks like a little bit more of some foreign currency. Singapore, Singapore. Oh, there's one. There's a cool one with the ship. Zen Duschmark. Number 10 Duschmarks. Duschmarks. And let's see what's in here. Looks like some average silver certs. Alright, that's it. I'm done. I'm out of here. This is this was somebody's collection and I thought I would just share it with you. So if you liked it, please give me a lucky lucky. And if you have something to say about it, please comment right down there below me. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.